Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be starting a new informational video topic. The ringneck pheasant will be kicking us off for the North American game animal profiles. Before we dive into this topic, I'd like to take a moment and ask you all to please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also check out our store to grab some Outdoor Experiences merch. Every subscription, view, and store item sold helps us create more videos for you all to enjoy. Now back to the topic of this video. Phineas Colachis, or the pheasant, as we will be referring to them in this video if not specified. General Description The ring-necked pheasant is a chicken-like bird with a long tail found mainly in agricultural lands of rural America. Pheasants are 20 to 36 inches including the tail and weigh 2 to 3 pounds. Males, called cocks or roosters, are mostly reddish-orange body feathers greenish black heads with red eye patch and a white neck rings. They also have a sharp spur on each leg which can be used to determine first year males from the older males. Females are molted brown which aids in their camouflage when sitting on a nest. Ring neck pheasant roosters crow loudly in spring and summer, especially at dawn and dusk. A rooster's crow is often followed by loud, rapid beating of the wings that can be heard only from relatively close distances. Roosters often cackle when they fly as well. Reproduction Pheasants begin mating in April and May. Hens lay an average of 12 eggs which hatch in 23 to 25 days. Newly hatched chicks just weigh half an ounce on average. They are covered with downy feathers and can walk and feed themselves as they follow the hen away from the nest. After only one week the young pheasants begin to grow flight feathers but can fly only short distances. By three weeks of age, they are capable of longer flights from approximately 150 feet. They don't leave their mother for at least 10 weeks. By five weeks, chicks can weigh almost half a pound. Food Pheasants eat insects, weed seeds, corn, soybeans, and other crops. Insects are the primary food for young chicks as the protein helps them grow very quickly in the first few weeks of life. Predators Fox, coyotes, owls, hawks are the primary predators. Raccoons and skunks eat pheasant eggs. Habitat and range. Pheasants are grassland dependent species associated with agriculture. They breed in grasslands but spend the other parts of the year in both grasslands and cattail marshes near grain fields. They do not migrate but they do move seasonally from breeding areas to wintering areas depending on food availability and weather conditions. How to hunt and hunting tips. Essential items for pheasant hunting include a shotgun, bird vest with blaze orange if needed by your state, a good pair of well-fitted and comfortable boots, upland hunting brush pans for protection and gloves for some essential gear will include a dog and basic items to meet their dog's needs in the field. 12 to 20 gauge shotguns are the most popular shotguns used for pheasant hunting. The shotgun action can be a pump, autoloader, semi-automatic, over, under, side by side, or even single shot. Most pheasant hunters like the number four to number six lead shot through a modified or improved cylinder choke. Number five load shot is probably the most common load with modified choke being the most common choke choice. Larger steel shot sizes such as number two and number four are typically due to lighter weight versus steel versus lead. Regulations vary by state, but wearing blaze orange is always a good idea for increased safety in the field. At a minimum, a blaze orange hat will improve your safety by increasing your visibility. You'll want to be clearly seen by other hunters as you move through fields and dense brush. Since pheasants are birds of the farm country, the ideal habitat will consist of primarily fields of corn, soybean, millow, or other small grains. The remainder of the ideal habitat would consist of a mix of grasslands, idle fields, hay fields, shrubs, and wetlands for nesting, roosting, escape, and winter cover. Woodlands, thickets, grassy fence lines, and ditches can also be a place for pheasants to hide. The most common daily scenario for pheasants to fly out or walk out of their roosting cover just after sunrise. They typically pick up gravel on their way to their feeding area and which is usually a crop field. After feeding for a couple hours, pheasants move to loafing or roosting cover. Late in the day, the pheasants venture back out for their final meal before settling back roosting cover for the night. Fun facts. Ringneck pheasants were first successfully imported from China to the United States in 1881. 
To avoid danger, ringneck pheasants often run rather than fly. Pheasants are frequently seen along gravel roads eating small pebbles called grit, which helps the birds digest food. During extreme winter weather, pheasants can go up to two weeks without feeding by reducing their metabolism and energy requirements. Pheasants are persistent re-nesters. If a hen loses her nest before it hatches, she will lay another, smaller clutch until it successfully hatches or until she runs out of the energy reserves to lay more eggs. Renesting attempts can hatch as late as the end of August in some years. Despite being capable of laying multiple clutches each year, a hen will only hatch one set of chicks or brood per breeding season. Hens will not renest if they lose their brood. Pheasants, along with most members of the grouse family, have specialized powerful breast muscles. These muscles deliver bursts of power that allow the birds to escape trouble in a hurry. Flushing nearly vertically in the air and reaching speeds of nearly 40 miles an hour. While the birds don't normally cover more than 600 feet at a time, strong winds can extend their flight considerably. Observers in 1941 reported seeing a pheasant fly a record 4 miles while crossing a body of water. Thanks for watching this video of outdoor experiences. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and we'll do our best to answer. If you have a North American game animal that you'd like us to cover in the next profile, put that down in the comment section too. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.